What's up y'all, it's Dejan. I am back with another video. I know it's been about a month since I posted my last video, um, but this video is gonna be kind of like a let's talk slash three month update. The last video I posted um, about Houston was my one month update, me moving here from Florida and it got the most views on my channel and I was actually surprised because that video was very long. But first, if you're new to my channel, welcome. But if you'll go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me and turn on the notification bell so you can always be notified when I post a new video. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I have gotten a lot of new subscribers since I posted that video. And I just want to thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. So let's go ahead and get into the video. As always, before I get into the video, I want to talk about this unit that I am wearing now. This unit is from AliExpress. It is from Aliana Hair Company. I believe that's how you pronounce the name. I'll link the information to the wig in the description box down below. This wig is a 30 inch unit. This unit comes about right here on me. I like the density of it. It's a very good density for it to be 30 inches and it only cost me $228. Now, this is not a full frontal unit. It's just a um, six by six closure. Apparently there's some type of lace shortage or something going on in China and they're like offering all these units that are t-part five by five six by six four by four closures i just went ahead and ordered the six by six i'm i'm a middle part type of girl anyway so either way if i'm wearing bone straight hair i go for a middle part the only thing about this unit is that the knots were kind of tough the knots were tough to bleach like they didn't even lift i used a 40 volume developer like my normal bleaching routine that i always do and when i rinsed it off um, the knots weren't completely, they didn't turn at all. So what you see is makeup here. And again, that's fine because it'll keep the longevity of my wig. It won't shed because it's bleached and all that kind of stuff. So, so far the unit, I like it. I haven't curled it yet because I'm not curling 30 inches of hair, but I like it and I will definitely buy from them again because I feel like I got a pretty good deal for a 30 inch unit. The hair got to me super fast. I ordered this wig right before New Year's, but they shipped it in time and it got to me like really fast. It got to me super fast. And they have some coupons available on their store. But like I said, I'll link all that information down in the description box below. The next thing I want to talk about is my three month update in Houston. I've been in Houston now for three months. On January 3rd, it made three months. So that's after the New Year. So happy New Year to you guys. If you see my last video, I was in scrubs and that day I was going to um, meet and greet with a potential client that I had started with the home health company that I thought I was going to work with, but it didn't work out. I moved on from that and I actually networked with a friend from nursing school that I went to school with in Florida and she moved out here to Houston as well. So I hit her up and she put me on the job and I've been there since November and I really like it. It is in a assisted living facility. It's, it's different. It's very different from what I'm used to working in home health, doctor's offices, and uh, long-term long -term care. Um, it's with geriatric patients. I work with a lot of wealthy people. Let's just say that. Um, lawyers, doctors, millionaires, um, ex-pro football players, real estate agents, CEOs. Like I work with a lot of very wealthy people. As far as my shift that I work, I was working all shifts, honey. I was working like six, seven days straight. Uh, I would get off at six o'clock in the morning and be back to work at two o'clock that evening. Like I was trying to get them coins, honey, because I was like laying low when I first got here. I was trying to, you know, get myself together after I moved. With my job now, I have calmed down working all those days but I do work longer hours. I decided to pull double. So I work 16 hour shifts, which is why I have not been posting videos like that because I've been working. Not much have changed, like I said. Um, I get a lot of questions though about, especially from people back home. People always hit me up saying, oh, I'm coming to Houston, what is there to do, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, I'm the worst tour guide you can have because I don't, I really don't know. Um, 
I don't go anywhere. If I go anywhere, it's to go eat. Like, I, I haven't been out to a club here. Like, I just like to go eat, sit down, you know, listen to some music or hookah or something like that, and uh, mainly eat and drink and stuff. But going out to the club, I haven't been out to the club, so I don't know what they be doing here. I have some, <laughs> I did make a list of some places that I have been since I've gotten here. And I do have a list of some places that I want to try when I do decide to go somewhere. I'm going to just name off the places that I've been to, tell you a little bit about them. Um, if I have the information to them, I'll list them down in the um, description box below. So if you do decide to come to Houston, you'll have like a, have something to go by. I haven't been here that long, like I said. So this is just a little bit of what I've been doing. The turkey leg cut, I recommend that you make a reservation because um, you, if you just go up there, you're either going to wait or they're just not going to have no room for you. The line is always constantly down the sidewalk, especially if you get here on a Friday. Like, it's just stuff always going on. Like, people are everywhere 24-7. I've been to the Turkey Leg Hut. I've been to the Taste Bar, which is not that far from the Turkey Leg Hut. It's really good. They also have a long wait sometimes. Like, the other day, we went there, and it was like an hour wait for just two people. So if you want to wait, they'll put you on the waiting list. Um, parking, they have valet parking, or you can find like some parking in the area across the street. Um, and they have inside and outside seating, and they also have an upstairs part, but it's always a wait if you don't make a reservation. Like if you just want to get up and go and you are hungry, I suggest you find somewhere else to go. Um, they have Seaside Lounge. I've been there before. They have day parties. They're known for having like little events throughout the week. They have the mimosa towers where they pour all the champagne and drinks and hookah and all that stuff. I've been to Onyx, which is a strip club. I've been to Prospect Park, um, which is another restaurant. I think they have a DJ and stuff there sometimes. I've been to Flavors, which is another little um, bar outside type thing. They have a DJ there too. Um, you can do hookah, bottle service, eat, all that good stuff. I just went to a new place yesterday that I tried called Lost and Found. It popped up on my Instagram. So me and my friend went there yesterday and the food was really good. It was really good. It was really nice. Um, they have an outside um, seating too where you can smoke hookah if you want to. I've been to Bar 2200. That's the place where it's like free all day, every day or something like, some kind of special they have. Um, they have hookah, they have food and they have a brunch menu. I don't know what time their brunch is, but nobody here has bottomless mimosas. I'm just gonna tell you that now. I've been to Camp Houston. It looks like a little camp. You can sit inside or outside and they have like a little fire. It's really cute, it's really nice. They have a pretty decent menu. They have like the fried crab claws that I tried when we were there with their rice, it was real good. Oh, also the address is another lit spot that people go to like, it'd be real, real lit there. I have not been, but I can tell from the videos that it be lit. In a couple weeks, I'm gonna go to a spa. I found this spa here in Houston um, through TikTok actually. It is a um, Korean spa. Here in Houston, they have this area where it's like all Chinese or Korean or Asian stores. It's a row in Houston that just have all, everything, the signs are even in Chinese. The road signs are in Chinese. Everything is in Chinese, Asian, Japanese, whatever. It's like a Chinatown here. I found this Korean style spa and they have different rooms inside. During the week, it's a little bit cheaper versus during the weekend you can go, but you pay an entry fee and they give you the clothes to dress out in. You can go to these different rooms. They have sauna rooms, steam rooms, pink Himalayan salt rooms, jade rooms, like different rooms that match different energies, of course. And then you can pay for spa services, like they have some type of hot oil rub down, a hot rock rub down, like you just have to look at the menu and go for what you know. So within the next couple weeks, I'm going to do that because I deserve it. Self care, of course. <laughs> Here in Houston, nothing much has changed since I did that one month update video in November. Um, the roads are still raggedy. Um, I apologize to my car still every day. Um, 
they actually fixed the road out here and they're fixing potholes in our neighborhood right now, which I'm very surprised. There's a list like of black owned restaurants that sometimes we look on. I will link it to this video in the description box as well, because people ask me and I just sometimes really don't have the answers for them that they want. Like, I'm just like, I don't really go anywhere. Like, I can't really, I'm not the best tour guide. Like, if it's not restaurants, then I really don't know. So I'm just gonna link a good link to y'all in the description box below. Another thing that I got done um, that has changed is I got nose fillers. I went to a medical spa, plastic surgeon, and I got fillers to fix the appearance of my nose because my nose is crooked. I don't care what nobody else is gonna say in this video because you won't be able to see it. But um, I got nose fillers and I'm gonna insert some clips here of what I got done. Um, if you look at my side profile, you can see that it's much straighter where you can see where my nose was crooked. Like I hit, I, I injured my nose when I was younger and I'm thinking that I fractured it or broke it or shifted something. Like I deviated myself in some kind of way and I just never like, I don't, I didn't like it. So I found a liquid rhinoplasty or a liquid nose job or non-surgical rhinoplasty is what they refer them to. I found somebody here in Houston. I went to the Glam Spa. I'll link their information down in the description box as well. I went to, I can't pronounce her name, but she was very nice to me and I got $125 off. So originally each vial, each syringe is $700. So I got $125 off of that. Um, I had got it the same day she consulted me. They put some pain numbing cream on my nose and I sat there about 10 minutes. She took some before and after pictures and you instantly see a difference. Now, in the beginning, your nose is swollen and she told me um, sometimes patients like when the look when it's swollen. So when it goes back down, they're like, oh, I need some more. That's kind of how I was like when I first got it done, it was so firm and so plump and swollen. Like I, I loved it. Um, now it's, it's definitely went down. And when I go back to her to my next appointment, she's going to look at it and see what I think about it. And then next time, I think I want to add some more. But this lasts about six months to a year. Depending on how fast your body metabolizes the filler, I use Restylane, which is a hyaluronic acid filler, which is something that your body is made up of already. And if you don't like it, it's dissolvable. Does it hurt? Yes, uncomfortable, but it's bearable. She gave me like a little ball in my hand and I was just playing with it when it got tough on the tip, which is where it's more cartilage at. That's where it hurts. And um, you can feel like the pressure it's kind of like pressure being injected where she's putting the filler at and she um, mixes the filler with lidocaine. So it's numbing it as it goes. But that first one, you kind of like catch you off guard a little bit. Um, but I like it. And she said, I'll really see the difference when I do my makeup. And I did, I really did. Um, so it's not the alteration I would get if I got a real rhinoplasty. And though I don't hate my nose, I need my septum back in place. Like my nose is just straight up crooked. It's, it's from injury. So um, I don't want a small nose. I just need my nose fixed. It's illusion. It's all about illusion. So it's not gonna de shrink. It's not gonna shrink the size of your nose. It's just gonna fill it to where it looks more symmetrical and she can build your bridge to give it a thinner look at the top. But my mama said it looks good. I don't care what y'all say. I don't have nothing else to talk to y'all about. The only thing I've been doing is quarantine shopping. Like I um like I got these lashes from Amazon. I also I'm also going to take y'all on a skincare journey with me. I went and seen the dermatologist and she hooked me up with everything I need to get my acne under control. But that's gonna be a video for another time. That's it for this video. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see y'all later. Bye.